What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Swing Index tutorial video. In the last video we calculated uh, R and now we need to continue on and, and do the next calculation which is actually K. So to calculate K, it's a lot easier than R was. K is just the largest of either H2 minus C1 or L2 minus C1. So that is easy enough. So now we're going to go ahead and make a function for define calc underscore K. And within here all we need are the variables of H2, L2, and C1. Colon and X equals H2 minus uh, C1 and Y equals L2 minus C1. If X is greater than Y, then K equals X we'll go ahead and just print k and we'll return k l if x is less than y k equals y and actually we could even just say else k equals y um, in fact I'll just go ahead and, well I'll leave it there just so it's clear but that would probably be the most efficient to just say else but whatever uh, print k and return k now, that will actually calculate K. Let's go ahead and run the calculation of K just to be sure. Uh, so K equals, uh, oops, calc K. And again, we need H2, L2, and C1. So high 2, low 2, close 1. And we'll just print uh, K. So we'll run this. And now we see that the uh, k is equal to 2.8. So we have our value for k. Since we were able to type that out pretty quick, let's go ahead and start uh, the calculation for the entire uh, swing index now. Um, so now we're going to say uh, L. Well, we already know L was equal to the limit move. So in our little variable here, uh, way up here, we just we called limit move that. So L equals LM, um, or actually let's just call it, uh, we'll call it limit move for now. No, I changed my mind. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say L equals LM, and then what we need to do now that we've done all this is run to the very top of this script, and right above define calc R, we're going to define the parent function as define swing index. And the parameters for swing index, O1, O2, H1, H2, L1, L2, C1, C2, LM. Those are the parameters. Then, highlight everything we've done thus far, besides the printouts down here. And hit, uh, and actually, I guess they could stay, so we'll highlight everything. And hopefully that doesn't happen to you, that was annoying. Try again. Hit tab, and then I'll tab them all over. So now we've got the definitions of uh, L, R, and K very clearly here. And also, now that we've done this, we can actually change uh, this to uh, H2, C1, L2, O1, 75 to LM, this to H2, this to L2, and this to C1. Now it's like storming outside and my lights just went out. Hope I can finish this. Anyway, uh, so we've done that. Now uh, we need to go ahead and fill in all the values for this so we can actually run this parent function and continue on with the tutorial. So we'll paste here. And now we have to do uh, all the replacers here. Open one, open two, high one, high two, low one, low two, close one, close two, and limit move is, uh, and actually since we've defined limit move up here, we'll just copy and paste that variable right down here. Long function there. Now just to make sure that we've uh, plugged everything in the way it ought to be now, let's go ahead and run this one more time 
and make sure this at least prints some stuff out without printing out an error for us. Okay, cool. So it did, it printed everything out. It's still the same uh, variables. So that's a good sign, right? Now, um, so the next thing that we want to do now is actually set up the final calculation of the swing index. So I'm going to conclude the video here, and then in the next video, we will complete our swing index function. A lot of code for uh, this little swing index. So anyway, stay tuned in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support the subscriptions. And until next time.